Hello, and welcome to A Word of Hope for Monday of the 30th week of Ordinary Time. Today's Gospel from St. Luke follows very closely on Sunday's Gospel of the curing of the blind man Bartimaeus by Jesus. You remember the story from yesterday where Bartimaeus called out, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. And Jesus asked him, what do you want me to do for you? And he said, I want to see. And Jesus said, go your way. Your faith has saved you. The man could see and joined the ranks of the disciples of Jesus. Today is another healing story from the Gospel of Luke. And it's the story of the woman that was bent over for so many years of her life. Listen to this. While Jesus was teaching in the synagogue, a woman was there who for 18 years had been crippled by a spirit. She was bent over, completely incapable of standing erect. When Jesus saw her, he called to her and said, Woman, you are set free of your infirmity. He laid his hands on her, and she at once stood up straight and glorified God. What strikes me so much about today's miracle story is that unlike yesterday, where Bartimaeus called out, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me, today Jesus didn't wait for her to ask a thing. Jesus noticed her and said to her, woman, you are free of this infirmity. Jesus paid attention. And instead of being deaf, the way the people were deaf to Bartimaeus, Jesus clearly heard and Jesus clearly saw that someone was in need of help. And he needed nothing further to extend the generosity of his healing. Of course, it was the Sabbath. The scribes and the Pharisees got all bent out of shape. They tried to hang him on a technicality. And he ignored them, which is what we should always do with technicalities when the love of God is at hand. My friends, you and I are to call today, as we were called yesterday, to not be deaf to the cries of the poor. We're called today to open our eyes, to see those around us who are in need, and not to wait to be asked for help. We are called today to be such instruments of our Lord and such disciples of Jesus Christ that like Jesus himself, we see what needs to be done and we do it. We are part of God's hope and that can be our hope. God bless you.